In a previous video, I argued that the toughest card to get a PSA 10 on from the entire 1970s was a 1971 Topps Nolan Ryan with zero 10s in over 5,000 submissions. But a viewer from Instagram named Nate pointed out something curious. While there are no PSA 10 Topps cards, there are actually two PSA 10 1971 Opeachy Ryans. So here's what I found. PSA has graded 255 71 Opeachy Ryan cards and given two PSA 10 grades for a rate of 0.784%. PSA has graded 5,076 71 Topps Ryan cards and given zero 10s. If PSA gave 10s to the Topps cards at the same rate as the Opeachy cards, there'd be 39 Gem Mint 10 examples. I also found a similar pattern with the Hank Aaron cards. PSA has graded 98 71 Opeachy Aaron cards and given out two 10s for a rate of 2%. PSA has given out twice as many 10s for the TOPS cards, four, but there were 36 and a half times the submissions. That equals a rate of 10s at only 0.112%. If PSA gave 10s to this card at the 2% Opeachy rate, there would be 71 PSA 10s. Can you imagine PSA giving out that many 10s for a 1971 TOPS card? Then I looked at how differently PSA grades the 1971 Opeachy versus top sets. PSA has only graded 21,300 Opeachy cards, less than 7% the number of tops cards. They have given 69 gem mint grades for a rate of 0.323%. But there are only 242 1971 PSA 10 tops cards for a minuscule rate of 0.0774% or a rate 4.2 times less than the Opeachy cards. Clearly, PSA has graded 1971 Opeachy and Topps cards very differently, but why? One explanation could be that the Opeachy cards are less condition sensitive than Topps. The backs of the cards are different colors, but the fronts are exactly the same, with the black borders that are legendary for chipping and flaking. But when I looked into this, I found the opposite. Dean's cards and PSA themselves say that the Opeachy cards are actually more condition sensitive. They say that the Opeachy cards were printed on poor quality paper stock and have edges that were cut rougher, both of which lead to fraying of the borders. I couldn't find anything that said that the Opeachy cards were less condition sensitive than tops. So what do you think? How do you explain why PSA gave Gem Mint 10 grades to two 1971 Opeachy Ryans and zero for the TOPS versions, which have almost 20 times the submission rate. 